should be it. Hopefully we're live. I'm not sure if anyone in the chat can tell me. Are we coming through? Is my microphone working this time? Or have I made a complete balls up of it once again? Everything working? Microphone working? Sound check someone please in the comments. <laughs> okay, hopefully we got some loud and clear. Oh, excellent. You do not know how much trouble it was last week and the week before trying to get this microphone to work through my OBS software. Absolute pain in the backside. Well, it's, uh, it's really nice to see a lot of faces. Well, not faces, but a lot of people in the chat. Good evening to you all. It is the Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To live stream for Saturday the 28th of September 2019. How are you all doing tonight? You doing good? What are we all drinking? Tonight we are on the Spiced Rum and Coke. So if you're, uh, if you're having a drink with us here tonight on the live stream, cheers to you. Hope you're having a great evening. Very good. So what are we all drinking? Let us know in the comments. What's, what are we doing? So, wow, there's a lot of people in the room tonight. So usually this is totally unprofessional and it probably will be again tonight because of obviously rum and coke, but I've actually made a list of the things that I'm gonna talk about tonight. So hopefully this won't go completely off track in uh, all go pear shapes, but I'd imagine probably there's a lot of you here tonight that are wanting to win, where are they? Wanting to win these. So these are the Nokia's KP1 Bluetooth TWS AirPod clones, which I reviewed in the video previously. Now we are doing a giveaway for these. There will be a winner drawn this evening. If you're not in the live chat, it's not a problem. What I've decided I'm gonna do is when I do the draw, which I'll be doing later on in this stream, I will leave this for a week. So if it doesn't get claimed within a week from today, so ideally by the time of the next live stream, then these will go back in and then there'll be a second chance saloon. So if they're not claimed, someone else is gonna win them. So if you wanna win them, what you need to do is go over to the video review I've did of these, the Nokia's KP1, just do a search, you know, type it in, Nokia's KP1 review, and you need to type a comment with the word win. Now that's really important. I don't know if it needs to be upper class, upper class, upper class, no, upper case or lower case. So if you're not sure, do both. I think it picks up both anyway. But the software we're using to pick a winner is gonna be a random winner. And literally all I'm gonna do is search for a comment, a random comment with the word win. So if you put the word win in your comment, then you're gonna be in with a chance to win. Can't say fairer than that, can I? Everyone happy with that? Good, everyone clear? Excellent. If you're not too sure, uh, go into our Discord and someone will help you out there. Or literally just go over to the video now, go in, type a comment, put the word win in the comment somewhere, and you'll be in the draw. Okay, so that's that out of the way. So we'll get onto that. We'll do the draw later towards the end of the stream because, well, I'm a viewer whore and I want to keep you all here as long as possible because the YouTube algorithm loves that stuff. So that's that. 
So let's say a quick hello to some of the people that are in the live chat tonight. So we've got uh, Merson, 80s horror fan, how are you doing? Tugging and Thug Computing, MRH channel. Um, I'm not even sure what that is. Bisvaxio Pom. I probably made a right mess of that. British Noob is in the house. British Noob, how are you? Welsh Tony is in tonight. Welsh Tony is moderating, as is Glenn and the British Noob. So watch your language, watch your P's and Q's, any bad language, profanities, and someone with a spanner is going to kick you out of the chat. So you have been warned. Those chaps and chapesses do have the power. Uh, JB's in the house as well. Good evening to you. Retro Gamer 101. And yeah, Ross is in the house. Yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of familiar faces and a few new ones. So again, like I said, welcome to you all. So done the intro, giveaway last warning. So if you haven't commented on the video, please, please, please do put a comment on the video for the knock is KP1 with the word win. I know I've said it before, I'm saying it again for anyone who's coming late and doesn't understand. So that is what you've got to do. I think I probably said originally just someone who's commented, but I've had to narrow it down because there was a few people in there who just commented saying, nice video, or I like these, or my i11 TWS aren't working, can you help me? So to try and weed out some of those people that actually want to win the AirPods, it's got to say win in them. Most of them have put that to be fair, so it's all right. And it's pretty normal that people would say, I'd love to win these. So hopefully that the people that want to win them will win them, potentially, maybe. Okay, and relax. I'm good. I've got a bit of a cough, a bit of a cold, so bear with me. I'm, I'll do my best and I'll try and muffle the coughs as best I can. Thank you, Tony, uh, Welsh Tony's box. Welsh Tony's unboxing reviews and guides. I'll put a link in the chat in a moment. So if you haven't uh, done that on the video, go there and do that. That would be absolutely great. Tony's got a cold as well, there's a lot going around. Yep, there is a lot of it, it's that time of year. And speaking of that time of year, we will be discussing some of the time of year stuff in a moment. So some of the topics we're gonna to be talking about tonight, which may interest you, it may not. Um, if it does, let me know in the comments. But the topics I've got, one of which was online shopping versus shopping in the real world. You know, when you go outside the door and there's all these things out there like cars and roads and shops, well, those shops sell stuff, and it was always my opinion, and probably yours as well, that if you're buying stuff online, it is like very, very cheap. Like people come in and say, oh yeah, you can buy that half price on eBay against kind of retail shops, Argos, or your kind of chain stores, that kind of stuff. But recently I've been looking around and buying stuff, and actually it seems that online prices have come up and retail prices are coming down. And a quick, well actually, I'll go into that in a minute. So that is one thing I'm gonna discuss, whether or not you're finding it cheaper to buy actually in the real world now than you are online. Um, best upgrades 2019 at the moment, that's something which is really, really key to me at the moment. Now, I've got a, a new motherboard, which you can see here, which is the uh, ASRock B450M Steel Legend Micro ATX board. Um, I'm really wanting to do an upgrade on my system, but processor prices at the moment are brilliant, which is making it really, really difficult for me to decide what I'm actually going to use with this. Now, I've got some new RAM, so those of you that follow the channel, you'll notice I've got some um, V-Color, I had to think of who it was then, some V-Color uh, DDR3600 RAM, which I'll be using on this. So ideally, I want to be looking at Ryzen 3, but in the moment, there's a lot of really, really good offers on the older uh, second gen Ryzen, the Ryzen 2. So we're gonna be looking at some of the prices on those and actually I'd love some input from you guys to see what you think I should do for this build I'm gonna be doing, which again, we're going to in a little bit day, later. Uh, RAM pricing, we're gonna to touch on that as well because RAM pricing is coming right down, um, which goes back to the video I did for the V-Color RAM. I was really surprised to get 16 gigs of RAM which was a, a fast speed DDR3600 and RGB for less than 90 pounds. That seems really cheap. So RAM pricing we'll be talking about a little bit. Also we're gonna be talking about upcoming deals. What do you think is gonna happen when we come to Black Friday, Cyber Monday? 
can things get much cheaper than what they are already? I don't know. It's, um, so things seem really cheap already. So are we going to see massive price cuts come uh, Cyber Monday, Black Friday? Or are we going to see very small uh, deals across the board? Now, last year, Cyber Monday, Black Friday was pretty disappointing, to be honest with you. So um, not great. What's DDR4? Oh, did I say DDR3? I do apologise. What do I know? I've only got a tech channel, sort of. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, we're going to talk about Black Friday, Black, Black, Black Friday deals, Cyber Monday. <laughs> oh, dear, this is going to go wrong. So, yeah, are we going to see any good deals this year? Is it worth buying now, or is it worth waiting, what is it now, um, another month until those deals come out? I don't know. Be interesting to see what you think, and also probably, I guess, where you live as well. Now, part of that as well, part of my upgrade process, graphics card. Now, at the moment, I've got a 1070 in my video editing machine, and I'm looking to kind of upgrade it, but I don't really want to side grade. So I'm looking 1660, 1660 Ti, 2060, maybe a 5700, maybe a Vega 64, because they're coming at some really good prices at the moment. So again, I'll be looking to see your thoughts and go over my thought process of what is going to be the best value for money. Because that is what this is all about, this channel. If you're new here, or even if you've been with us a long time and you probably don't know what the hell is going on, which I probably don't half the time, this whole thing was started up about trying to save money, do things on the cheap, or repair stuff. That is essentially covers pretty much all the bases. So like the AirPod clones is saving money on buying AirPods. Originally I started off doing AMD reviews because AMD stuff was cheaper. Not quite as good, but cheaper than the Intel equivalents. Obviously now that's gone completely on its head and AMD pretty much now is ruling the roost in the CPU market from the very entry level right up to the top tier. So that's kind of gone uh, in a direction I didn't think it was gonna go. But anyway, um, yeah, and another thing I want to talk about is AirPods as well. AirPods, why are they still selling like crazy? Now, I started reviewing AirPods probably over a year ago now, and since the very first review, they've been selling like crazy. Now, I am an affiliate of some companies, uh, Nokia's, uh, The Spinning Deal, Amazon as well, obviously. So I kind of got a, a slightly vested interest in it, complete honesty and disclosure. Obviously, if you buy something, I do get a small kickback from these people. But having said that, I do spend a lot of time and a lot of effort reviewing them and also supporting them after the fact. So if people buy stuff that I recommend, I look after them. So if they've got uh, problems, questions, comments, whatever it is, as some of you probably know, and that's probably how you find the channel, you've said or had a question and I've answered it for you. And I try and do that as much as I physically, humanly can. Um, so much to the point of literally I get up in the morning, the first thing I do is check my YouTube studio, check all the comments and try and answer as many as I physically can. Some of them get buried or get lost or whatever. So if you're one of those people that I've missed, I do apologize. I do l honestly try and answer every single question, even, even the stupid ones. Um, yeah, so if you're gonna leave a comment, Kaf just raised a really, uh, critical thing actually if you have got a question try and create it as a new thread in the topics rather than adding on to someone else's comment because they do get lost really easily other creators that are in here now watching uh we've got tony uh british noob some of the other guys who have got their own channels i guess you're probably with me in this that you do get comments and questions that just get completely buried because they're in a thread so if you have got a question please, please, please try and create a new thread or a new line or a new comment or whatever it is. Anyway, there we, yeah, there's a typical example there. So we've got uh, Amar, hopefully I pronounced your name right. I have a problem with i12 box is charging, but AirPods not, help me please. That is the sort of thing I literally, I would say I get at least 20 to 50 questions a day purely on AirPod problems. Um, especially some of the earlier ones, which is actually another reason why I was going to do the online versus real world shopping, because a lot of these problems with charging on the AirPods is down to the connections, physically not making a connection. So this is what I've bought. This is Wynn's electrical contact cleaner. 
Now I did recommend in the videos using alcohol. Now this works for pretty much any electrical component. If it's dirty, it's not working right, whether it's an electric window switch in your car, whether it's a charging connection on your iPhone, your AirPods not connecting, a graphics card that's got dirty connections and it's not seating properly, RAM chips, whatever it is. Don't do as I do and lick it. Get some of this stuff and clean it and do it properly. Now I bought this from our local uh, car store, Motor Parts, Motor Parts uh, Bristol. I've left the link in the description, I think, so you can check them out for yourself. They're a really good little company and I do work there sometimes, so <laughs> uh, let's, uh, let's try and support our local shops. But this is actually half the price almost of what it is on Amazon which is where this kind of whole thread come from. It's like, hang on, why is this cheaper in a shop, which has got all those kind of overheads, against Amazon, which is basically a, a pile them high and sell it cheap kind of place. And the same goes for this. If you're into cable management, building a PC, which some of you are definitely gonna be doing, little things like this. This is 100 cable ties. Um, picked them up for 199. I got white ones and the black ones, black ones and white ones light bulb, heavy bulb, but these are even dearer on Amazon. You'd think that something like this would be absolutely dirt cheap, but these are going for like £2.50, £3. Some sellers actually wanting like £4.99 for these things. £1.99 in your local retail store, which yeah, I thought was brilliant. I was expecting to pay a little bit more for the convenience of it being local and all that kind of stuff, but it works out cheaper. So do me a favour, check out Motor Parts Bristol or if you're local in a local area of Bristol, pop in and say hello. Be, uh, be very nice to see you. Anyway, so that is, yeah, actually Tony's made a really good comment there actually. Uh, as we said earlier, I find that Amazon expensive now. It is, it is becoming an expensive place. I think that all of the online retailers, be it Amazon, Newegg, Best Buy, uh, e-buyer in the UK, CCL, all those kinds of things, where predominantly you'd expect to see things a lot, lot cheaper. The prices have steadily been rising, and retail stores, like in the UK, we've got PC World Curry's, uh, there's Novatech who've got a retail outlet, various other high street independent stores who are selling stuff pretty much at the same prices online now, which for me has actually been a, a real eye-opener, and I, I wasn't expecting it. You always assume that it's gonna be cheaper online, but I suppose the moral of this story is, if you're buying stuff, yeah, certainly check the prices online, but do go to your local retailers and check them out and see what prices they're doing stuff for. A, you get better service because it's a one-to-one -one human interaction and you haven't got some kind of shady guy on Facebook trying to flog you stuff which is way overpriced or doesn't even work. At least in a retail store, you can walk in face-to-face -face and go through and get things sorted. So anyway, there is that run out of the way. Sorry, I just looked at a comment here. Uh, Ostro says, good evening, how are you doing? Uh, British Noob says, actually, the only reason I still use uh, Amazon, he's put amazing, but Amazon is, the, I guess, what you're trying to say, is because of Prime. Uh, I think that is, a lot of people have, have signed up to the whole kind of, the mindset of, oh, I'll get Amazon Prime, I'll get stuff cheaper, or get it postage free or whatever, all that kind of stuff. I do apologize if you can hear that in the background. That is our ice dispenser on the fridge and our son who actually doesn't know about kind of common decency and not making a loud noise when you're recording videos, especially when those videos are a live stream. So, thanks George. <laughs> right, Kyle Taylor says, can I have the B450 still legend? Um, Yes, you can, you can have it. It's uh, 89.95 on Amazon currently. Links in the description below. Tundi Hotterman, what are the best AirPod clones? Now, that is a very open-ended question. Now, I'm probably gonna bore some of you to, te to tears, to death or whatever, with the talk of AirPods. I know some of you absolutely hate it, but to be fair, it is a big deal and it does generate a lot of interest, a lot of questions and all that kind of stuff. Um, best is a very open-ended question. Best value, best sounding, best reliability, best all-rounder. It's a tough one. Uh, at the moment, I would say for me personally, even though, again, I am an affiliate, so I am slightly biased anyway. Obviously, I'm a human being. But the Nokia's KP1s are very, very good. Extremely good, in fact. And 
it's a very close toss up between the KP1s and I would say the, uh, what was it, the ET Maxter, the i200 TWS, they were also very good as well. But anyway, let's move on from that. Uh, Frostbite out, has the winner been announced? No, not yet. Uh, just a recap for those of you who are joining. If you want to be in with a chance to win, the software that I'm going to be using a little bit later on in the video is going to pick a comment from the original review video, which Kath uh, and Tony, have, I think, have posted in the comments there, so you can scroll up and down. If you put a comment in there, it has to have the word win, W-I-N, and the software will then try and pick that up, and it will pick a random user or a random commenter. Is that even a word? Commenter. Someone who's commented. Basically, yeah, put the word win, and you will be in with a chance. Uh, abs am, I think, is that abs, abs ham, yeah, whatever. Um, hello, hello to you. Uh, da -da -da. British Noob says, looking at a few CPUs on PC Park Picker, seems to be Aria that is the best place to buy. And that Aria, I don't know if some of you know that, but Aria actually do a kind of a side business, which is um, distribution as well. So not only the retail, they do distribution, so they sell to other companies. So they probably do get through a lot of bulk and can offer some of that stuff a little bit cheaper. And they do Fitbit scales. <laughs> yeah, and they do Fitbit scales. No, Fitbit scales are called Aria. <laughs> Welsh Tony has put in the uh, link to the video if you want to win. So if you, uh, if you want to be in with that, click on that link, go in, click on the comments and type win in the answer. Yes, as Tony has commented, uh, how many hours of playback to the KP1s have? Again, Frostbite, that is a very open-ended question. It depends purely on your volume levels. If you have them at the maximum volume, which I don't, I don't think you'd bear because they are extremely loud, I would, well, actually, I'm not even going to guesstimate. The official rated time of them is four hours. I've witnessed four to six hours of playback time at low levels. So at maximum levels, I would say probably two to three hours would not be out of the question. It's difficult to put an absolute on those kinds of things because obviously, like I said, charge levels, volume levels, it's going to be very different from user to user. Also, depending on your Bluetooth on your phone, if you've got a particularly good Bluetooth chip which supports low level or BLE5, I think it is, then you can actually talk to the device in a lower um, lower level, I guess, of Bluetooth, so it doesn't use so much energy, so that can increase it. There's lots of variables. <laughs> nice one, Glenn. Uh, Amar's asking, um, are KP1 have better service life than i12 or i19? I-19s I've never used, I've got to be honest, so I don't know. The I-12s definitely had a shorter battery life than the KP-1s, uh, if that's what you mean, service life. Um, but none of them actually come anywhere close to the creative outliers, which are, I still get blown away by how long the batteries last in those. They are insane, absolutely insane. And they sound better as well. So they sound better, they last longer, they're only a little bit dearer, but they don't look like AirPods, so for some people that's a no, uh, a no deal straight away. Uh, JB's asking, how will the winner receive the KP1s? Uh, the winner, when they're drawn, uh, will have up to a week, so up until next week's live stream, to get in contact with me and give me their contact details, in which case then I will put them in the post. Um, alternatively, if it's in an area which I cannot post to or is prohibitively expensive to post to, I will actually go on to the uh, Nokia's website and I will make a purchase in your name with your address and get them sent out directly to you. So uh, one way or another, you'll get them to you. It may not take like next day delivery or something, but you will get them at some point. So that will be a thing, you will get them. So please, 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 can the winner not be in, where was the last one that we took ages, Calf? What was that? Was that uh, Ability? No, yeah. There was one, was it Malaysia? No, it was... Um, Philippines. It's Philippines. Well, Philippines is a, is a bad one. So if you're a winner and you're in the Philippines, um, be prepared for a slightly elongated wait. You might get them for Christmas. 
No, I'm joking. It was uh, oh, I'm trying to think who it was now. Yeah, there was a previous winner. You can check the previous winners on our Discord site on the uh, the giveaways because the, the winners are notified there also. Uh, FN Space, when will the KP winner be announced? Uh, later on in this stream. So keep uh, keep watching. Cameron it was, yeah, Cameron was the one. And that was in, uh, Mal was it Malaysia? Philippines. Philippines, and that took a while to go there. <laughs> Charles Gabriel, KP1S, here I come. Or KP1s, here I come. KP1s are up to par. Yes, they are, actually. Um, Mad Mac CQ25, did you try the KP1 on PC or an Android device? Does that change something? Uh, yes, on the PC, obviously you don't get things like the pop-ups and all that kind of stuff, and the touch controls are very different. The Android experience for me personally with the Xiaomi Mi A2, um, there was definitely a lack of volume, which then I created a video after trying to find out what the problem was. And there is a problem, or not a problem, but Android devices have a thing called the absolute volume, which is a, a basically a volume limiter. So if you turn that off, you can get a lot more volume out of them. But um, I didn't find any real difference. Obviously things like the pop-ups don't work on Android and you can't use the software. There is a software, um, I can't think what it's called now, but there is an app you can buy for uh, genuine AirPods to run on Android to get the pop-up notifications, but that doesn't work with these devices. So they are purely for AirPods, genuine ones. Uh, Frostbite out, how much longer until the winner is picked? Some people, you just gotta have patience, my friend. Be like a doctor. Da, da, da. What else we got? Yeah, the the steam is very busy tonight. It is yeah, there's a lot of uh, a lot of people. Twenty five people in here. That's actually really good for us. You can tell this is a testament to how popular these AirPods are. It really does blow my mind how popular they really are. Anyway, next point of business, which I'm going to discuss, and you're going to have to watch. Well, you don't have to. Oh, well, actually, Calf says I've got to answer something. Go on. Right, Kyle's asked, what is your opinion on the R5 2400G and the Vega 11 iGPU? Currently, it's $120. Um, yeah, the 2400G is actually a really, really decent chip. It's a difficult time at the moment because we're seeing all these price drops at the moment for the Ryzen CPUs, which um, I've certainly noticed. I don't know about if you have. Um, there's some, been, been some pretty serious price drops. At the moment, you can pick up the um, Ryzen 5 1600 in the UK for about £90 brand new, which is a phenomenal deal. So $120 is roughly about 90 to £95. It depends what you want. A four core CPU with eight threads, I believe the 2400G is, or is it a four core, four thread? I'm not entirely sure. If you need integrated graphics, it's definitely worth doing. And if you want a nice little system and you want to build it into like a SFF PC or an ITX build, there's not really much that can touch it. The Vega 11 is actually relatively good. And even with my Vega 8, which I use in the 2200G, it was adequate. You can play games on it. Although I would say if you can get a secondhand GPU, the Ryzen 5 1600, performance wise and flexibility wise, is certainly the better value chip for my money, I would certainly say. If you can pick up a decent GPU, a second-hand card, even something like the 7850, something along those lines, maybe a GT, well, yeah, say a 750Ti is going to be similar kind of performance to the Vega 11 from what I can remember. It's been a while. So if you can pick up one of those cheaply, I would definitely recommend getting a discrete one and getting a better CPU, like the Ryzen 5 1600, or maybe something even slightly faster. A older Ryzen 7 1700 can be picked up very cheaply as well. So I probably haven't answered your question there completely, so, but the 2400G is a great CPU and IGP, or integrated APU, whatever you want to call it, definitely fits certain purposes, but for flexibility, 
it's kind of wasted as well to some extent. So if you are planning at some point to get a GPU, save your money, get the separate GPU and the separate CPU. Do it first off so you're not wasting that Vega 11 after the fact. Um, Kev from Cliptic asks, what are we drinking tonight? Tonight we're on spiced rum and coke. Mm. Ah, very nice. Cheers, everybody, for those of you that have joined. Um, Kath wears the trousers. This is the last comment I can see on here from the British New. I'm in a onesie, actually. She's got a onesie on at the moment. I would turn the camera around, but she probably would kill me. Charles Gabriel says, just watch the KP1's vid. Yep, if you want to enter the draw, go on to that and type in the comment section, win as part of your comment, and you'll be in the software draw, which we'll be doing. Now actually, that whilst we, so yeah, that's what I was gonna do. Right, new videos. So this week coming up, we'll be doing a review on this. This is the B450 Steel Legend from ASRock, which we'll be doing. I am gonna be doing this in a micro ATX build from a company called Silverstone. Some of you may have heard of them. Uh, Silverstone makes some really, really nice high-end cases. Uh, they reached out to me and actually asked me if I wanted to review one of their cases. And we've decided to go for the RL08, which is kind of a, an oddball. And the reason I wanted to do it is because it is very different. It's an inverted micro ATX chassis, so upside down motherboard. It's got a full airflow front with a grilled mesh. It's got RGB and it's got some amazing build quality. So I really wanted to see how inverted micro ATX can actually look in a nice medium to high end build. Uh, also, they're also gonna be providing us with the power supply for that build as well, which is gonna be, I think it's a Silverstone 650 watt gold power supply, semi-modular. So I'll be honest with you, I have never used a Silverstone case or power supply before. So this is gonna be a first for me. So it's gonna be interesting to see how much better or easier they are to use using more premium components. I'm usually used to building stuff kind of on the lower end, medium to low end stuff, trying to save as much money as possible. So this is gonna be interesting for me to see what difference I can find both uh, for construction purposes, all that kind of stuff, just see how good Silverstone are. I've had really good res reply, no, reviews. Replies, reviews, whatever. I've had a lot of feedback about Silverstone from various people that I've asked, and they've all come back and said that it's really, really good stuff. So um, hopefully it's gonna live up to its hype. Uh, sorry, what was that, Glenn said? Oh yeah, Glenn said, uh, Glenn. Glenn. Glenn says that Silverstone are pretty awesome. Well, yeah, I totally hope so. And British New World says, I've heard good things about Silverstone. Uh, distinct addicts, hard to hold my horses. Hold your horses. Marco420 says, good evening, Calf. Hi, Calf. Uh, Absham is looking at some i 20s that cost 15 pounds. Do you think it's legit? Um, no is the honest answer. If you're buying some AirPods, now actually, I'm gonna go back onto this because this is one thing that's been really, really getting to me the last weeks or so. I did a review ages ago of the i11 TWS and the ones that I had were okay. They're not brilliant, but they are of the budget end of the market. So you do expect some things to go wrong with them or for them not to be as good signed in, all that kind of stuff. But there is an absolute ton of clones of those on the market and they are absolute garbage. Seriously, like proper garbage where they have electrical crackling noises when you plug them in, one side works, the, the other side doesn't charge, doesn't light up, doesn't do anything. So think what you need to ask yourselves is if you're buying cheap AirPods and you're not buying them from well-known places such as Amazon, Nokia's, Spinning Deal, those kinds of places, uh, Offnox, this is a new one, which we're gonna be going over. They look to be pretty good, so we're gonna be giving them a run. Um, more about that actually in a minute. And also another giveaway, which we'll be doing as well. So for those of you who love your giveaways, there's gonna be another giveaway next Saturday for another set of AirPods. So, but we'll get onto that in a minute. 
But yeah, what I'm trying to say is, if you're buying AirPods or AirPod clones and they're like 10 pounds, 15 pounds, even sort of 20, 30 pounds, chances are they're gonna be garbage. You might get lucky and you might get one which is slipped through the net, which should be more expensive. But essentially, if you're not paying good money for them, you're not gonna get a good product. It's the way the world works. If you buy cheap, you get cheap. And hopefully that makes a lot of sense to you guys out there. <clears throat> uh, da -da. Marco, congrats you on being in the LTT video. Oh, thank you, Marco. Yeah, that was actually that was one of my one of my highlights at the moment. It's quite surreal when you see your video on, or just an excerpt of your video. Even if it was a tiny. I think it was only a few seconds on there. But to have a little bit of a shout out from someone like Linus Tech Tips and the Linus Media crew, yeah, that was pretty cool. So, Linus, if you're watching this one, thank you very much. Check community tab. I don't know. Uh, da -da -da. Uh, Adam Steen, what is the best fake AirPods under 40 euros? Truthfully, again, it's one of those things, if they're less than about $50, they're probably not gonna be great. You might get lucky and get some older ones like the i10s or the i12s, but even those, they were good at their time, but they have been superseded by quite a few different models now. So it's, it's not a good idea. And I would, the ones I would avoid are, I hate to say it, AliExpress, Possibly bang good to some extent, and um, is it D DL Gate or DH Gate? Some of the stuff that sells on there, which looks like the real deal, generally turn out to be rubbish. And even the more expensive ones, like the Super Copies, which I think someone's just mentioned in the comments, the Super Copies as well aren't great. They look good, they've got all the things, they tick all the boxes, and they are pretty much a one for one clone. But they got so many problems. Seriously, I've followed some of the community threads on it and the super copies have got so many problems, almost as much as the i11s, which is pretty shocking considering how much they cost comparatively. <laughs> Charles Gabriel, do a review on super copy AirPods 2. Well, that is fantastic timing there. Um, <laughs> There's two reasons why I won't. A is because I don't think they're reliable enough long-term for most people. I've seen a lot of reviewers review them, and if you watch their threads and take a close eye at it, and I generally do, I research this stuff a lot, like probably too much, and I see what's going on in the markets and seeing who's getting the returns, and I ask the people who comment on videos, where did you buy them? Where have they come from? And the super copies, which are mostly on, um, I think AliExpress, I've seen most of them from, the returns and the failures on them and the faults of them is genuinely shocking. You can be lucky and get a pair that will last, but more times than not, they've got a very, very high failure rate. And if you've bought anything from AliExpress or from those kinds of places before and you've tried to get a refund or tried to do a charge back on your credit card or even tried to get hold of the people who've sold you them, they promise you that earth, they genuinely do. They're like, oh yeah, we love customer service and if you're not entirely happy, get hold of us, here's our email, here's our, QQ number or whatever, it's BS, genuinely. You try and get a reply to someone after you've got a faulty item, and they go through all the usual stuff. Have you charged them? Have you done this? Have you done that? Have you tried a reset? In fairness, probably some people haven't, but they will try everything to not give you anything because they're not making any money on these things. They're selling them so cheap, they're buying them cheap, they're not making the money, they don't have the resources to support the product. And more times than not, you see a, a company will pop up, sell a load of them, and then literally disappear off the market, purely because they cannot support the product after the fact. Now, this isn't for all super copies. There may be some really good ones out there. I haven't tested them all. I'm only going by what I've read, what I've seen, reviews, all that kind of stuff, and feedback. So don't take this as being gospel. This is just my opinion, which could be completely wrong, but the warning signs are out there. I only at the moment use uh, three companies for AirPods and AirPod clones, realistically. That's Nokia's, Spinning Deal, and also Amazon to some extent. And we've got a new player coming on the market, which again, we'll go into in a minute. But 
but they're the ones that I trust. They're the ones that if I've had a problem, I've emailed them, they've resolved it, or I've told people to email them and I've heard feedback back from those customers or those people that have bought stuff and they've had replies and they've had results. So I feel comfortable recommending them. They may be a little bit more expensive than the super copies or the stuff that you get on AliExpress, but there is a very good reason for that. There you go, I'll get off my, uh, that's my, uh, my rant over. <laughs> uh, da -da. Click Tech Kev says, when are you going on Scrapyard Wars? I don't think anyone will be, because I think Scrapyard Wars as a thing has actually been shelved by Linus Media Group. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Um, what other... <clears throat> Instinct Addict says, looks like Mike is a DC fan. Um, I actually, I'm not really. I do like DC, but I also like Marvel stuff. Probably Marvel stuff more so, as I think most people probably do. But I do have a soft spot for Batman. I don't know why, because I kind of grew up with it, I guess. The Adam West Batman of years ago. And uh, yeah, Batman's always been a thing for me, I think. I used to have loads of Batman toys when I was younger. I was probably scarred by it. Uh, da -da. Uh, Kyle Taylor says he's having comments removed, but don't think the mods are onto it. Sometimes you can have comments and then silence, can't you? Yeah. Oh yeah, you might have, there's a delay sometimes, so you cannot post too many comments. Uh, Glenn says that it's being filmed this week, Scrapyard Wars. Well, that'd be good. I'd look forward to that. They should do a charity one. They should really do that. Uh, da -da 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 -da. British Noob says Mike is secretly an Apple fan. Now actually, going back to a previous video, this is actually part of the reason why I got this iPhone, because a lot of these new AirPods the features mostly work with iPhones because that's what they're aimed at. And this week, for those of you that are regular viewers, you probably noticed that I did a reset video, a factory reset video for my Xiaomi Mi A2, which was my normal daily driver. And I've been trying desperately to just use my iPhone XR. And actually, I think, apart from a few little niggles, I am actually starting to really like this. And the battery life, is ridiculous. Now I've been using this all day. I woke up about seven o'clock for work and what have you, and I started answering YouTube questions straight away as I tend to. Um, it's been on all day getting notifications, UK hot deals and all that kind of stuff. And currently I'm on 82% battery, which is pretty insane. So that is 14 hours on the go, using the phone all day, on and off, and 82% battery life left. And as you can probably see, the brightness level is on about 50%. So for me, that is insanely good. My Xiaomi Mi A2 would be at probably about 55, 60%. So considering how much bigger a screen it is, the processor, all that kind of stuff, they've done well, Apple. I can't fault them for that at all. And I can see that all these comments, I can see here people have been commenting on the video. So Kyle Taylor's commented. Uh, CKO's commented twice, win. Shrek Plays has commented. Frostbite has been in there. Owls, um, or sorry, Absham, Egan Cartoon, FN Space, Adam Steen, M Silver. Yeah, you've all been doing it, so. It's glad to see that some of you are listening. That's very good. Yeah, thank you to Tony. If you haven't checked out Tony's channel already, go ahead and click on Tony's, I think you can click on his username, right click and then view channel. I think you can do, or view user. So go and check a few likes on Tony's videos. It's all good. Charles Gabriel says, do an iPhone 11 Pro Max review. Hey, I've only just bought this thing. I'm not made of money. I'm bloody skin. Well, I am now, I bought this. And the watch. Uh, Adam Steen says, what is the best site to buy i500 TWS? 
Now, I think the i500 TWS is actually a clone of the Air 2, which I believe you can get from the spinning deal and also from Nokia's. You can probably find them on Amazon as well. Those, again, those are the three places that I would risk buying from because you get, you get good support and you can send them back if you don't like them. Yeah, you imagine that if Wish or um, Alibaba or AliExpress or any of those types, imagine if they did a 30-day happiness guarantee on their products. Do you think they'd still be trading? If any of you have watched Linus's uh, PC that he built from Wish stuff, I think we probably know the answer to that. Uh, Welsh Tony says, three dots, then go to the channel. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, on the chat, three dots, go to the channel. Go and subscribe and send some likes and all that kind of stuff. Charles Gabriel, KP1. Let's go, man, I can't wait. Uh, Tony says that he's got refunds from Wish rather easy, uh, but then there are things that are cost a few quid. I think, to be honest with you, most of the stuff from Wish, because it is quite low price and they do sell an absolute shit ton of stuff, it's quite easy for them to do a couple of refunds and it's not the end of the day. Wish is fishy, yeah, it is a bit dodgy. Right, what else have we got to talk about? So, right, before we do the giveaway, let's go over one last thing, which I, uh, I'm going to have to do. So... We've got a new company which have uh, reached out to us and asked us to review some stuff. Now it's a company called Offnox, so that's offnox.com. You can check them out. There isn't a thing in the video description yet because to be fair, I haven't tested the product yet. So maybe good, maybe bad. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be good. So they, they have started selling um, iPhone, sorry, iPod, AirPod clones. God damn it, Michael. They've been selling AirPod clones and they said, can we send you a sort of set? Now, I was expecting something new and shiny, but they've sent me the i88 TWS V8s, which are available in five colors, white, black, gray, green, and red. So in the coming week, I will be doing a review on these and actually comparing how well they are made now and how good they are compared with the last time I reviewed them, which was probably about a year ago, comparing prices and all that kind of stuff. But as always, what I will be doing is these will be available next Saturday on the stream. So if you would like to win a pair of i88 TWS V8s, and these are, I think these don't have the pop-up feature, but they do have the thing where you flip open the case and they automatically pair and all that stuff. But again, we'll go through that on the video review. So if you want to win these, watch the video when it comes out and comment again in there with something with the word win and I will put you in to win these next Saturday. Now, also, obviously, if the KP1s aren't um, claimed by next Saturday, then these will also get a second chance. So, potentially, we'll be doing two draws next Saturday if these aren't claimed. And that's basically what we're going to do pretty much every Saturday now, wherever possible. Same time, 9 o'clock uh, GMT, UK time. And... I'm gonna do my very best to try and get suppliers to send me these for review and then give them away back to you guys who are watching, which only seems fair. So if there is a set of AirPods or Bluetooth headset or anything you want me to review, reach out to the suppliers or the people that sell them and get them to send them to me. So say to them, can you send some of these to Mike's unboxing? And then I'll review them and then I'll give them back to you guys. Seem fair? We could do that. Calf's just, given, calf's just given me my RGB earrings. Now this is actually some, these, these come from Wish, didn't they? This is the kind of tack that you get from Wish. So anyway, we'll finish that conversation. So yeah, if you want to win these, every Saturday we're going to be doing the giveaways. And if I run out of AirPods to give away, I'm going to give away some of my back catalog, which are up on the shelf here. So I'm just going to start clearing them out, making room for some new stuff. So every Saturday we're going to be doing that. So if that's cool with you guys, subscribe, click on the chime icon, get involved, comment on the videos and watch us on a Saturday evening and you can win some of this stuff. Marco420, RGB all the things. British Noob says put them in Mike or put them on. We need a matte black KP1S. Yeah, that would be nice actually. 
Okay, so do you think, should I put the RGB earring in? What, what do you think? I did have one over on my desk somewhere, but it seems to have disappeared. What do you reckon? What are your thoughts? Let me know. True Vinny says put them on. Do it, put one in. Ha ha. All right, let's have a look at these. So this was a little bit of a joke because Kath kind of finds it amusing that I like all this RGB stuff. And well, I do. <laughs> Who's ready with the gift maker? Yeah. <laughs> put them on, all right. I have put this on Instagram actually, if some of you may have seen it already, but actually these are kind of cool in a way that they shouldn't be. And you can't put your oh, and there's, oh, there's crap in there. What's that crap? And that's the, have I got to use those backs or have I got to use this back? I can't remember. Use the metal one. Pull it off. Right, that's it. Yeah, so I've got to pull that off. Put them on, put them on. I don't know, I can't even find the hole. Come here. Calf's going to have to do it, everybody. Calf's going to have to be on the camera. I can't see. I'm going to get my ear all swelled up like I've had a bee sting. Charles Gabriel says, is that a CPU behind you, the colourful lines? You want about that? Yeah, that is my, that's the PC which is actually streaming at the moment. In the, oh, for God's sake. All right, sorry, I'm gonna have to go off camera because Kath won't come on the camera. Keep chatting amongst yourselves. And if you haven't already commented on the video, to win these KP ones, then you've pierced your ear, but in the wrong place. Get on and uh, get on and do it. Did you hear a calf? Then she said a thing. That is the voice of the mysterious calf, or Mrs. Mike's unboxing. Is it in yet? Oh, that hurt. <laughs> okay, is that on? I can't do it. Sorry about this, everybody. Is it light up? Yeah. Still on? It's good. <laughs> here we are. Oh, it's on the other ear. Is it in that ear? Is it yeah. on? Can you see it? Yeah. I can't see it because I want to turn around. Oh, actually, I can see it. Can we see it on there? It's no. There's a bit of a delay. <laughs> Sometimes it pays to take the mickey out of yourself. The side we don't see. The, pr the pretty side of Mike's unboxing. Yeah, here we go. Hey, Charles McKnight is in the house. Charles McKnight was... Charles McKnight? C. McKnight. Sorry, gave away your name. Damn. He was adding more RGB to his case, and I would put money on it that he's been buying Sahara Pirate RGB fans. Now a true Goss brother. Yes, I am. I've gone all, I've gone all Luke Goss. Oh, more notifications. So it looks like you guys are... Um... Yeah, there's a... Wow. Okay. So I'm not going to give away any information here, I don't think. But there is all the notifications. So that's all of you guys commenting on the videos. Oh, and it keeps on going. And it keeps on going. Oh, that's it. So... Yeah, I think uh, I think you've all had a pretty good enough attempt now. <laughs> what do you reckon? So I don't know. I kind of like I like it, but I don't. Charles Mike's got yeah more power RGB. Oh, nice one, Glenn. Mike's unboxing reviews and woohoo! <laughs> oh dear. Right. Okay. Right. I'm getting off topic now. So if I talked about everything that I was going to talk about in this video. Oh yeah, we're going to go back to the RAM price. I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll get the AirPods thing out of the way, so those of you that aren't interested in tech stuff so much, we'll get on and we'll talk about tech after, and you lot can cry about not winning or whatever. British Noob says I should wear them. Wow, you've got more nine, you've got nine fans in that case now. <whistles> Holy cow. Right. Okay, so I'm not going to be able to look at the comments a minute because I've got to open up another window to do this draw, I think. Um, actually, should I do it on the PC so you can see it being done? 
No. I'm trying to think now. This is me thinking live. It might take a while. If I do the live draw and with you guys being able to see the screen, is that going to give away any confidentiality against other people that may have entered? I'm not sure. Potentially. That might be a problem. Um... <laughs> now just some white socks and sandals and the bold Linus. Beast 88's been comment. Actually, Beast 88, I did notice actually for commenting on all the videos. And actually, all of you that have taken the time to comment on the videos, I know it's a little bit one sided because you want to win something, but I do appreciate you leaving these comments and uh, it is very good. So, um, I think. RGB sandals, that's a great idea, Kev. Frostbite, hopes you win. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I am gonna do this. If I do it on the computer screen here, and then I'll turn the screen round so you, hopefully the camera will focus on it. I think that's the safest way of doing it because I'm not sure if I can show it on the screen whether or not that is fair. What do you think, guys? Will Cookson, how you doing, Will? Wondering if you have an Instagram. Yes, we do have Instagram. Just search, uh, is it at or is it hashtag on Instagram? Mike's Unboxing. Yeah, just search Mike's Unboxing. Not Mike Tyson Boxing, that's some other guy. ClickTech is a genius. Instagram, Mike. thank you, Tony, for putting that up. You should do a wish hole. Yeah, this is it. That's it, video over. Public usernames, nothing sensitive. All right, let's try this. We get, we do it, we should do the live draw now. You guys all ready? Have you done your comments? Are you ready to win this? Uh, yeah, we will trust you, it's fine if we don't use the screen. Let's go. If I don't win, I'm unsubscribing. <laughs> yeah, I think after this video, I'd be interested to see if people don't win, how many unsubscribed things I get, but, in fairness, the winner may not be in the stream and they may not join or whatever or get in contact for the KP ones, so they may be up for grabs again next Saturday. And again, we'll be having these up for grabs, so we might get to the point like the lottery at the moment where there's a rollover and we just end up with a ton of these things to give away. So you've got to be in it to win it, so keep subscribed and all that stuff. Right, I'm going to attempt to do this now. This might not work. Um, let me see, right, bear with me. So live dashboard, nope, don't want that one. Uh, da, da, da. Yes, that one will do it. So if I go into videos, the suspense is killing me, whether this works. I hope it does. Right, uh, what was the video called? Can anyone tell me what the video was called? I should know that. Best AirPod clone, louder and cheaper than Nokia's. Actually, does that give my views? Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Uh, what the hell? That's not a problem. I don't think. Is there anything on there sensitive? No, there isn't. Right, which one have I got for the desktop? So if I press number three. Oh no, that's not going to work because I'm in that. So let's go to that. Right, this might work. Number three, so go to desktop. Now hopefully, I'll have to wait until I can see the comments. This thing, Addicts, right, okay, can you guys see the desktop? Yeah. Can everyone see it? Yeah. Okay, someone let me know in the chat. Can you see the screen? Can you see the screen? Yeah. yeah. Right, okay, so you all ready? So I'm gonna be using now, this is a tool from TubeBuddy, as you can see by that. So that's the video. Best AirPods clone, louder, KP1. So what I'm gonna do is click on that down arrow. And then in TubeBuddy, we've got all these cool tools. Now, if you're a video creator and you want you do this yourself, you can actually sign up to TubeBuddy from the links below and I get a little kickback, which would be awesome. They do a free version as well. So if you're starting out and you don't wanna pay for anything, you can get most of these tools for free anyway. But you've got all these things. So this is the one we want. Is that the one we want, everybody? Pick a winner. Is that what we're doing? Should we do that? Should we do that? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, pick a winner. So 
or on that video, pick a winner. Oh, crap. So pick a winner. So what we do is run a contest in the video. Yes, we are. Click the button below to click a random commenter. So you can see there, it is completely random. And choose from comments. So I'm going to choose that. So comment must contain these words. So the comment is got to have the word win in it. And hey, Sky Stalker's in the house. Now, Sky Stalker, if you haven't already watched the video and entered, it may be too late. But if you want a chance to win these quickly, because you are a regular contributor, and I'm not sure where you've been, maybe you've been flying planes and stuff, but if you want to win the KP1s, comment on the video, type in win. I'll give you 60 seconds. That is 60 seconds you got until right. I'm going to do the draw. But we'll see. So there we go. Yeah, Tony has just put it in the comment section. So if you want to win these AirPods, put it in there. Now, wouldn't that be a real, real amazing coincidence or a real am i allowed to say the word pisser yeah because i put 18 comments 18 plus on the video tonight so i can actually use profanities awesome i forgot about that so yes anyway sky stalker has been out of time okay right i don't think we can wait any longer so the comment must contain the word win if you've commented on this video this is your chance i'm going to click on pick a winner here we go good luck everybody let's uh let's be wicked Hey, this would be really cool if it was somebody in the live stream, wouldn't it? Wouldn't that be so cool? Okay, three, two, one. I pressed the button. Oh, why is it not done it? <laughs> okay, why did that not work? This is great, isn't it? Live TV. Oh, why has that not done that? Unbelievable. <laughs> right. No, I can't do choose from all comments. That would be terrible. Right, Calf, try it on your PC. Sorry about this. I can't believe that they've let me down. Let's try a refresh. Yeah, good, good point. Let's try that. F5. Come on, refresh. This would be great. This would be YouTube's gone down right in the crucial moment. This is suspense, isn't it? Okay, so let's go down. Here we go. Tube buddy, pick a winner. Comment must contain the word. Win. Pick a winner. Do you know what? This is absolutely ridiculous. I tried this loads of times and I did random ones and it worked every single time. Calf, try on yours, see if you can do it. Was yours taking a long time to load as well? Pick a winner. Bottom right hand corner. It might be because I'm doing something on a live stream, but I don't know. Shouldn't be. Caps isn't working either. Oh my goodness. Right, okay. Now. Is it not? Try, oh, go into the Creator Studio Classic. It might be because it's on the beta. That beta, beta is a pain in the arse. Uh, which one have I want? I want G2, I want two guys. There we go, we're back to this. I do apologize, we're gonna, slight technical difficulties, but a microphone worked, which is nice. I don't know why that hasn't worked though. I tried that three or four times when, before we were streaming. You did. Calf's gonna do it on the old Creator Studio Classic. I don't know why that hasn't worked. There's me trying to do a good thing, promoting Tube Buddy, because I do use them like every day. How can that not be working? Unbelievable. <laughs> oh dear, it's enough to drive a man to drink. Oh. 
Scottish Stoker says shit down browser and restart. Yeah, but it's on two computers. Hmm. <laughs> right. I'm going to close down all my windows. I don't think that's going to cause any problems, is it? So let's close that down. We tried it loads the other night. Yeah, we did try it loads the other night. <laughs> I knew I should have done it the old fashioned way, just put everyone's name in a hat. Should I do that now? Oh, there's way too many to do that. We're going to have to just maybe scroll through and go through. Uh, where are we? Game view. We just have to do where is the video? It's gone. Cheap buddy. Where is it? Lighter cheaper. There we go. Right. We'll pick a winner. Win. No, nope, that's totally not working. Right, okay, what I'm gonna do is I will get the video up and I'm just gonna have to scroll down through them and just randomly pick someone. I think I should just write them in a name if they can hang on. Right, view on YouTube. No, what I'll do is I'll get it and I'll just scroll. Right, that's loaded. So. Let's load all the comments. Right, I'm scrolling down through at the moment and I'm not looking. So if you can see my hand in the background, I don't know if you can. You can just see I'm scrolling. Let's go right to the bottom. Has it gone all the way yet? No, it can't. Right, it's loading on the comments. So I'm going to scroll right the way to the bottom. And I'm going to do some random scrolling, like shuffling a deck of cards. And then we'll pick someone. So. I think I'm on there. <clears throat> I don't yeah, but is that privacy? People can right. watch it themselves. Yeah, okay, that's true. Right, what I'll do is now I'm gonna switch back over to the screen. I'm not gonna look. Now I'm just gonna scroll up, scroll down, we'll move around, and then I'll get Kath to say stop at some point and then we'll find the closest oh, one, hopefully. Sky Walker said asking for a random number because he's not in the contest. Asking for a random, yeah, but I don't know what the f start and finish is, do I? That could work though. Um, how am I going to do this? It says 226 comments. Oh, I'd have to count down all the comments then, wouldn't I? Okay, let's, let's try that, what the hell? So, Sky Stalker, being as you're not in it, please can you give me a random number between 1 and 200 and... 26 and then type it in to the chat and let us know what your random number is. I don't even want to look at the screen now. Eh? So Skystalker, the random number between 1 and 226. Skystalker127, is that your final answer? Can't count that high, try again. <laughs> oh, 127, that's going to be, in, right, Kath, or actually, or anybody else, count from the first comment downward to count, how, oh my God. So if you were comment, as we scroll down through the list, if you were 127, you're going to be the winner. This is so amateur, it's always funny. Well, it is funny, actually. So, let's, uh, let's see, Kath is counting down through now. Please be right. Silence for the counting. Click tech Kev says, just pick me. Don't think we can do it that way. Welsh Tony saying there is other random picker sites. There is, but it means I'll have to put all the information, all the usernames in, and that takes absolutely ages. I did it for the last giveaway, and it was uh, rather laborious trying to get it all into an Excel spreadsheet. The See, thing is, your comments when you reply on things would count as a comment. No, yeah, no. Oh, yeah, they would, wouldn't they? Yeah. And I'm not counting them in. 
Oh, God. Right. That ain't going to work, is it? Because my comments are included in the total amount of comments. Right, OK. I'm going to do go back to what I said I was going to do originally. So I'm just scrolling up and down through. And we'll uh, wherever the mouse stops is where it will be. So, calf, say stop at some point in the very near future. You have to shout it quite loud so the people can hear. Stop. Okay, so where is my mouse? And so now I need to find someone who is on that screen close enough that it says win. So... It looks, uh, James P. I think, oh, that's not worked out very well. <laughs> because the person I landed on didn't want to win them. Oh, God. Right, so the nearest one I can see on the screen, from what I can tell, is going to be... Possibly. Uh, well, Merson said win in his there. James P has commented, but let's see if he's actually said the word win. No, he hasn't. So the nearest one to that one is Merson. So Merson said five days ago, so very informative and uncomplicated. I would love to win a pair here in the UK. And my comment to Merson was... Another UK viewer. Merson is in the... So, if Merson is in the chat, then it is Merson. Merson yeah. is there. Congrats, Merson. I think I actually did say see that name in there earlier. <laughs> Merson! Merson is here! Well done, Merson. So, these, my friend, have got your name written all over them. Well, they haven't. They actually say knock is KP1, but these are going to be coming out to you. So, well done to everybody who's uh, taken part. Thank you very much. Obviously, these aren't going to be in next week's rollover because Merson is in the house. Well, in his house. So, next week, we'll be giving these away and probably or the rest of them. So Merson, um, I will get in contact with you or you can drop me an email or join us on the Discord server if you've got Discord. That's possibly the easiest way. Um, but emailing is just as good. Just need to prove who you are and get your details off you and these will be coming your way, my friend. So I'll give those to Kath now so she can box them up. Actually, yeah, that is the ones. <laughs> Just making sure that's the right ones. So, well done to Merson. Happy days. See, that's always works out well when somebody actually in the chat is a winner. That makes things a, a lot, lot simpler. Not so good for you guys because it's not rolled over like the National Lottery. But there we go, that is awesome. I'm very pleased that's done. I do apologize. I don't know why that went wrong before. I don't know whether it's because I'm live streaming. There may be something TubeBuddy does kind of latch into the rest of the system. So I'm definitely going to find out from them what the hell has gone wrong with that. That is very odd. When I haven't been live streaming, I've done some test ones on this on other videos to see, and it's picked up every single time. So I am... Uh, <laughs> Absam is unsubbing. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. And you'll see now the watch counter is going to drop down quite rapidly, I would imagine. Bless you all. Marco, 420 is going to go to bed. It's late there. Nice one, Marco. Thank you for joining us. Sorry you didn't win, but don't forget there's next Saturday, 9 o'clock. So see if you can... Uh... <laughs> yeah, click to... So it wouldn't be a Mike's Unboxing live stream without some technical problems. It totally wouldn't. <laughs> oh, dear. Sky Stalker. Thank you very much, Sky Stalker, for helping us even though it was kind of our own technical glitch, but, oh dear. 
Tuck Welsh Tony says it's a great comment picker with an option to put a word in. Yeah, it was, and it's actually been walking. I thought I'd try it loads of times just to make sure that this kind of thing didn't happen. But I haven't tried it under a live stream scenario, so I'm going to speak to the guys at TubeBuddy and, uh, and see what happens. Absame says done, but still watching vids. Okay. <laughs> actually, there's an extra person watching. Happy days. Right, okay, so that's that out of the way. So let's get talking about the tech stuff now, because some of you are probably be itching to talk about it. So I want to upgrade my PC, my video editing PC, or possibly even this one behind me. I've got a micro ATX case coming. I've got another case, which I've got a review. Now, actually, this is a, almost a sneak preview. I've got a full ATX mid, well, no, not full ATX, a mid tower PC case that I've got a review. And it's from somebody you would never expect a PC case to come from. I've had a sneak peek and it looks really nice, but I'm under an NDA that I'm not allowed to release the video or discuss it by their name or the brand until 2 p.m. on Monday. I think that's right, was it? Was it the th 30th they said in the email? I think so. I think it was the 30th. So I can't tell you who it is. I can't tell you what case it is. I can't tell you much about it at all, except that it's a newcomer to the market in the case market, but they've been around for a long time doing some really quality stuff. So I'm, I'm really, I'm, re I'm not sure if they've actually realized who I am. They've just said, can you review it? And this is the first time I've had an NDA on any, any products really. It's very strange. I don't quite know how to react to it. I had a little play with it yesterday. The case took it out and had a play and set up some of the uh, RGB, which it has got. It's also got a really nice tempered glass. It's a really, really good quality case. Very similar, in fact, build-wise to the Fractal Define, uh, Fractal Define C, I think it was. <coughs> anyway, so on Monday, two o'clock, there'll be that video coming out. And that is gonna be the full, t full tower, not full tower, mid tower chassis that I ideally wanna do the upgrade in. But I don't know what CPU to put in it. I really don't, I'm really struggling. At the 100 pound mark, Ryzen 5 1600 is a no-brainer. Around about the 150 mark, there's a few contenders. At the 200 mark, we've got the Ryzen 7 2700X, which is an amazing CPU. But then at 50 pounds more, we've got the 3600X, which is, again, a great CPU. And the 3800X is 300 pounds at the moment in the UK. But is the 3800X going to give me £100 worth of extra performance over the 2700X? I don't think it will. But I would quite like to sample that new fine wine technology that AMD are putting into their chips. So, I don't know. Fire away in the comments. Let me know. What do you think? What is the best version? Uh, is this going to be an AMD system? Because I don't think I can go Intel purely for the fact that I don't think they represent good value for money. Although... My PC predominantly is used for video editing, so Intel CPUs generally better for Adobe Premiere. Quick Sync will also help with rendering. It's a tough one. Ideally, in the perfect world, I would go Intel and an NVIDIA graphics card because that suits Adobe Premiere down to the ground absolutely perfectly. But I really, really want to do the AMD thing. So AMD graphics card, AMD CPU, maybe a new AMD motherboard, X570 chipset, uh, something like the ASUS Prime P, I think it is, which is about 160. Married that up with a decent CPU and a maybe a 5700. That could be a cracking system, but very, very difficult to decide on. Skystalker is saying the 3000 series, the 3700, which at the moment, I think in the UK, is around about 250, 260, I'm thinking. Uh, Seaman Knight's saying the R5 3600 is 190. The R5 3600X is 220. Uh, the eight core isn't worth the extra money. Put that in the motherboard. So Ryzen 5 3600X, that is pretty much around the kind of place I wanna be, I think. It probably will be quicker than the 1700X I've got already. 
certainly the extra benefits of the chipset, the um, RAM speed as well is going to be important because I've got that new 3600 speed RAM, which I really want to get the, the most out of. Um, uh, eight core 3700s, 320. 3600 is really good. Mac, Mad Mac Q27, uh, 20, <laughs> it's all going wrong. 26, I said. It's a very difficult decision for me. Being that I like to do things on a, a good budget and get a lot of value for my money, it's a really difficult time to upgrade a PC. Especially when I'm coming from a pretty strong contender like the Ryzen 7 1700X and a 1070 uh, GTX with 32 gigs of RAM on a X370 Prime motherboard. It really does do everything I wanted to do, but it is starting to show signs of age. Like the motherboard is what, three years old now, possibly? Maybe even slightly more, maybe four years old. So it is getting a bit long in the tooth, but am I gonna see the benefits of spending that much money on it? Seamanites, uh, I saw Skystalker saying for video editing, eight cores is better all around, especially if you're going to stream. That is definitely a consideration if it was gonna go into this PC, because that is a streaming PC, but I very rarely edit on it, edit on it, because the editing PC is literally there, so all I got is turn around, so. Um, it's very unlikely that I'll be doing any multiple multitasking. I struggle doing single tasks, to be honest with you. So I'm not entirely sure. I really, really am in a complete confusion. Because you can spend an absolute ton of money on the latest technology, but do you really get the benefits out of it? iPhone comes to mind. Uh, Seaman Knight saying, yeah, 57 XT instead of the 5700 with the difference in money being between the 6 core and 8 core. That is a good point. I've also, I'm contemplating the Vega 64 because that does seem really good value for money at the moment. Or even the 59, uh, the RX 590 Gold Edition from Sapphire, which at the moment is just under 200 pounds which actually is a really good card. Ah, that's that done. So, Super Knight saying an Asus X570P, which I, uh, I totally agree on. That does look like the, the probably the best bang for buck board. Um, R5 3600X and RX, and an NVMe drive. Yeah, I didn't even think of that, NVMe drive. So probably the Sabrent Rocket one terabyte is probably going to be about the sweet spot, I think, for an NVMe. 3,400 megabits read and 3,000 megabits write, which is actually a pretty quick drive. That could, that could work. That could definitely work. But again, many, many things to decide on. I got to be honest with you, I am so confused. I literally... Get all the things in the basket in Amazon, about to pull the trigger, and then I'm like, I get distracted by some comments on YouTube, start answering questions, and all of a sudden it's like, oh, I don't know. I was the same with this, the ASRock uh, B450M, Steel Legend. I was umming and iron, do I spend £60 on a really cheap ass board, go with that? And that is another question, what CPU do I put on this thing? I suppose really it's got to be a second gen Ryzen to go with the B450, but then is it a waste? It's quite a nice board. Could be made into my new daily driver. Can I use a micro ATX as a daily driver? Hmm. That depends on how good the Steel Series case is, I think. Maybe. Who knows? Uh, ClickTech UK Kev is saying Sabrent Rocket is a sound choice. Got one for my second drive. Yeah, I think that is a. Uh, the Sabrent, it's weird because Sabrent is like a kind of unknown quantity, but they're using pretty good chips on their RAM. It seems to perform very well. Is that a microphone we had? Yeah, it was. Yeah, Sabrent do um, all sorts. They did microphones. I think actually didn't, I think I did a review and I think Tony did the review. I think that's how me and Tony found each other. Oh, me and Tony. 
in. <laughs> oh dear, the alcohol's kicked in. 3400G on the Steel Legend board. Now that is controversial. Tony, I've had some good stuff and bad stuff from Sabrent. Yeah, it was a Sabrent mic, wasn't it? Yeah. God, those are... If anyone wants to laugh, go and watch my Sabrent mic video. It's bloody awful. It is absolutely terrifying. And actually, better still, go and see my MSI RX 480 graphics card video. That is properly horrendous. And there was an Asus monitor I did as well, which was the, I think it's a GL24. The, the uh, 144 hertz monitor. That was an awful, awful video. Is that when the electric went? Yeah, the electric went and everything. Okay, so obviously I've got some serious consideration to do. Um, I think that's gonna pretty much wrap this one up, guys. I've got some sausage rolls on the desk, which uh, have been sat there for the last hour and a half, and they're now tepid at best. So we'll be going on those. If you want to join us for the after show, then jump on over to the Discord. We'll be in the Discord channel for a little bit, having a chat, discussing some stuff, and probably taking the piss out of me. Um, yeah, that's normally par for the course on the Discord. But if you want to join us, if you've got any questions about AirPods or that kind of stuff, feel free to join on there. I'm probably going to think about setting up another sub-channel of the Discord purely for AirPod help, just to not kind of cross over the two. But anyway, regard it. So yeah. Coming up this week, we've got some really nice stuff. We've got this Steel Legend board, which I'm super excited to use, actually. I really do like ASRock stuff. I'm getting, I'm getting a real soft spot for ASRock. Uh, I think they'd offer a lot of value for, for um, yeah, soft spot for ASRock. There's something wrong about that altogether. <laughs> it's just, it's, yeah. It's wrong. Anyway, so yeah, I'm actually really looking forward to using this. I'm not looking forward to using Micro ATX, if I'm completely honest. I think Micro ATX isn't, a great idea for a lot of reasons but having said that nice case from Silverstone nice board nice setup this could be my daily driver or might even replace that uh, unicorn puke monstrosity in the background so anyway keep watching the videos keep on liking subscribing and commenting and all that kind of stuff if you want to win the i88 next Saturday then make sure you watch the video when it comes out and type win in the comments and hopefully we'll try and get it so that it actually works. I'm gonna get in contact with TubeBuddy and see what the deal is with that and uh, see if they can help me out. And that cat wants to go out to go for a wee, so that signals the end of the stream. So thank you all for, um, oh yeah, actually, I'll, yeah, I should mention this. If you wanna join us over on the Discord channel, which some of you are possibly gonna do, you have to agree to the rules in the rules section. So when you, when you, go in for the first time, at the top, click on rules, and at the bottom there's a text box. So you have to type in there, exclamation mark, then okay dude, I think it is. But literally it says what you've got to type. You can cut and paste it and put it in there if you want to. So do that, press enter, and then you'll become a newbie on the server and all the other chat rooms will become available for you. And you can have a chat to us. And uh, yeah, you can get some tech information from the guys on there. We've got three or four really good experts. I can't think if it's three or four. I think it's four. Four experts on there with different fields of expertise. Seema Knight is on there always helping out and answering questions and posting some really, really killer deals. So if you want to get involved with that, please do. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it for tonight's stream. Thank you all for watching. And uh, we will catch you in the very next video as the, uh, the uh, blinds fall down. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you all in the next one.